Hey everybody, how we doing? Welcome to another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. Real quick before I talk about what's going to be in this video, I have been having a lot of issues with the Rockstar launcher, with the game itself. It took me like 10 tries to get this video done because it kept crashing. However, I found a tutorial on the website on how to fix the PC crash problem. I had to reinstall the game, I had to change a bunch of settings on my computer. On my PC, I'm very anal about making sure my drivers are always up to date, especially with the CPU and GPU. I'm always checking those at least once a week, so it wasn't my problem. And plus, I'm still playing The Division 2 in my free time. I have zero issues with that game, so I knew it was just something with the Rockstar Launcher. Anyhow, got it fixed, so I, uh, it was a smooth... Uh, the first part, first mission of this game, it crashed like 10 times on me. But finally after that, when I redid, uh, or when I went on and did the three other missions, had zero issues. So let's talk about what's gonna be in this video. In this video, we do three missions with uh, three different strangers. We go and meet the veteran at his cabin and we do some fishing for a legendary pike. We also meet Charlotte, the widow that we met in the cabin out by that beautiful lake and waterfall. And also on the way to meet her, we come across a legendary moose and hunt it down. And the third stranger, the mission we do is with Edith and her son. And also we do do a main story mission in this video. We meet up with Micah and Dutch, very big turning point in the story. You'll want to check out that mission. All right, let's get into the video. Remember, if you liked what you saw, hit the like button. Leave me a comment. If you're new here, subscribe. Really appreciate it. Let's go ahead and get into part 39. Hello, All right, guys, we're back. Where the heck am I? Oh, beautiful. Well, we're going to start off with Edith here, it looks like. And then we have Micah. Oh, come back to Big Horn. Oh, that's her son right there. Mr. Morgan. You still here, kid? Yes. Mama. Mama can't leave. It won't leave. I, I don't know. I said I had the money. It, she said your money weren't moral. She said it'd be better to die than to take it. Maybe she's right. I don't know. I don't know anything about morals. She's still heading out. Working, you know? I'm sorry, son. Sorry about all of this. She ain't been back for a few hours. She left with some fellow down the railway tracks. I did not like the look of him. Which way, you say? Uh, that way. Around the woods, towards uh, Willard's Rest. I'll see what I can do. Frickin' traffic jam. Alright, let's see where they went. Good girl. Oh, look at that. Got a rainbow. We got a trail. Holy cow, where the heck did they go? Well, we got a horse up there. There they are. That's enough now, partner. Oh, no. You're starting to scare me, let alone the poor woman. Clear off. Who are you? Someone who don't want to hear no more of your nasty mouth. Push me. I'll put a bullet in you. I, I presume Archie sent you? I said clear off before I deal with you. I'll see you again, dearie. <sighs> Listen. Listen to me. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. You sound like my husband. I know. Listen, 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what happened. I was uh, a fool. And I'm suffering for my foolishness. But don't go and get yourself killed because of your pride. You have a son, Mrs. Downs. I'm just so ashamed. Ashamed? <laughs> of what? <laughs> you loved him. <laughs> you did everything for him. <laughs> Let's get you home. All right. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Too? And you think that affords you the opportunity for penance for cutting his time short? No, I ain't looking for that. Okay then, so just forget about me and the guilt you're carrying because no good can come of that for either of us. And all you can do now is decide the man you want to be for the time you have left. Help someone who can still be helped. Why help yourself? I suppose you're right. Oh, hang yourself for all I care. You're right to dislike me. I ain't looking for that to change. Archie should be waiting for us just up ahead. someplace else start over here take this I don't need it no more I don't want your money yeah I know you don't want it I don't you sure as shit need it take it no I ain't looking for forgiveness it ain't about that but don't forgive me just take the money and get out of here please I know I ruined your life I suffer for it every day but don't let yourself get killed for, for pride I seen it kill too many folk don't say anything. Don't thank me. Just take the money and pack your bags. That's all I gotta say. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. I said don't thank me. Get out of here. Please. Damn. Do not seek retribution. All right, we are right by Micah, but... Darn it, he disappeared. Oh, hell, let's go ahead and do Micah. The veteran was right here. We'll run into him again. What is he, staying in one of these cabins? All right, guys. This is literally about the 10th time I am retrying this mission. Last couple weeks, I uh, game has been crashing quite a bit on me. So, I updated my drivers. Actually, I didn't need to. I just verified that they were updated. I always do that weekly, so I know it's not my PC because I'm still playing the Division 2 in my free time. I have zero issues with that game. I did a lot of troubleshooting. Hopefully, I can still play this game because it's getting very, very annoying. And now it's to the point where... I don't know, just having a lot of issues, guys. Let's see how it goes. Watch one of the deputies let a fella out of jail for a bottle of whiskey. Pardon me. Excuse me. 
There's this uh, mission I do with Micah and Dutch here, and it just will not let me get not even five minutes into the mission. Oh, it's over here. Was you followed? No. Was you followed? I said no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is your problem? What is your problem, partner? You don't, uh, you don't look so good. What is wrong with you? Nothing wrong with me. I'm fit as a fiddle. And not inside you, ain't. I'm just a realist, friend. Micah reckons there's a rat. Oh, does he? On what evidence? He's only back a minute. Pinkerton show up. <laughs> We've been on the run since you two fools went crazy in Blackwater. We barely escaped with our lives in Saint Denis. Now we got a rat. Well, Molly clearly talked, but who else? Maybe we pushed things too hard. Whoa. Maybe time for folks like us is past. We don't need a rat. We got sloppier than the town drunk, and they know who we are, and where we are, and what we're doing. The way I see it, the best thing we can do is let the week go. Move on, get our money, and start over. That ain't happening. Well, something's gotta happen, and fast. Otherwise, Cornwall, them Pinkertons, they've got us pinned in here. And ain't none of them stopping. Well, Cornwall's why we're here. Shall we, Dutch? Yeah, it's time to go. Let's head to the river. Oh, leave Cornwall alone. He ain't. We need money. But revenge? Now? Of course it's for money. Come on, Arthur. This better not be no stupid revenge mission, Dutch. It ain't worth it. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, Arthur. It's just a simple social call. <laughs> <laughs> So, what are we gonna say to him that needs to be said? He has been hunting us since Valentine. He is the reason that Hosea got killed. His sugar business is destroying the people of Guarma. This town, Arthur, is his town. He bought it just to destroy these folks. His sugar, his oil, his law. These are wrongs that you can't write, Dutch. We're wanted men. Hmm. So why did you go for John against my wishes? I didn't want him hanged. Neither did I. We're gonna cut a deal, Arthur. What are you talking about? We want out, and Cornwall wants us to stop robbing him, and we all know his money is what's keeping the Pinkertons on our tail. He's America, Arthur. And I want out. And he... He won't let us go. This ain't making a lot of sense, Dutch. It will, son. It will. A deal, some noise, and then we're gone. Cornwall's boat is due in soon. Let's get down here behind these crates. My game keeps crashing when he shows up on his boat, so let's see how we do. I want to thank you for your hospitality, Mr. Cornwall. This was a business meeting, Mr. Milton. We are not friends. I have spent a considerable fortune with your agency and still... Nothing. This Vanderlyn robs me and laughs at me. I asked for the best. I paid for the best. We are very close, Mr. Cornwall. I know you've heard this before. Can't, sir. Send a telegram to Goldberg in New York. Tell him I won't borrow it more than 3.2%. Sorry, no, I have heard it before. And get that army man to pay his portage charge. Yes, sir. We are doing all we can within the confines of the law. The law? I think we both know what you can do with your law. Find me Dutch Vanderlyn. Bring him here and leave the laws to them as need them. Good day, sir. Come along, Mr. Ross. We have work to do. Mr. Didsbury. Mr. Cornwall. Now listen up, Didsbury. What's all this about strikes? I bought into this mine because of mismanagement. 
And I intend to make it a success, no matter what the cost. It's the wages. Folk feel Folk that you... feel? Business doesn't give... Two figs about feelings, sir, not two figs. It's a nonsense that will bring a plague on both our houses, sir. Perhaps there is a plague on your house already, Mr. Cornwall. What do you want, sir? I'm not quite sure just yet. Your impudence will be your undoing, sir. I'm undone already. Even my best friend here, he thinks I'm crazy. And like this poor fellow you are talking to, my feelings are hurt. You robbed me, sir. And you robbed him. Funny world. You show a criminal's grasp of sophistry, sir. I did no such thing. You kill. I kill. You rob. I rob. Only difference I can see is I choose whom I kill and rob, and you destroy everything in your path. I've heard just about enough. I'll tell you what. You give me this ship, $10,000, and safe passage out of here, I'll let you live. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do no such thing! <laughs> you sure? Good. I prefer it this way. Oh! Man. Noise, Arthur! Noise! What the hell have you done, Dutch? Oh shit, there's a guy right here. Lord. Oh, 
At least we tried talking it out. Boys, lost your minds. Oh, I felt a lot of guilt in this life, Arthur. I've killed too often and poorly, but not this time, son. Come on! <laughs> All right, let's head for the hills, boys. They're trying to block us all. Go right! Holy shit! On the left! Oh, the bastard! Nope, my other left. <laughs> Gonna be comfy riding without a saddle. Social call. No, oh, don't play dumb and superior at the same time, Morgan. We all knew sooner or later Cornwall had to go. Let me see them papers. It's more attention we don't need. Feels like the whole world's closing in on us. Dutch, it won't be long before they find where we're hiding out now. Especially as we ain't exactly hiding out. We just need a distraction. Buy us some time. It looks like Mr. Cornwall's company has signed a railroad contract with the Army. And they're also moving dynamite down from, well, the Annisburg mines to San Denis to resell. And there's bonds at his oil factory. Maybe there's a way to get them off our back and get the money that we need. Micah! You look into this dynamite. Take Bill, I guess, Arthur. You go, too. We are going to need a lot of it. And, Mike, we need to talk. Figure out some things. Of course, boss. Figure out what? The plan. Getting out of here. Nothing's changed. It hasn't, huh? There's an old house west of Van Horn. Meet me there when you can, Black Lung. Let's split up. We'll meet up back at camp. Yeah. I have a feeling I'm slowly being worked out of the game because I'm dying, you know? There she is. Alright, guys. So... There's the old man, the veteran. He disappeared last time. So let's go ahead and go to... Wait, what do we got right here? Reverend needs to speak to me. And we have Charlotte. So let's go meet the veteran that we met a few videos ago. And we'll meet Charlotte, the widow. But yeah, I just feel like they are slowly working me out of the gang. Dutch isn't... Uh, Pretty much on our side anymore. And evidently he's got a cabin out here and he wants to take my fishing. Yep. 
Well, great news. I found a website where I had to change a bunch of settings in the game, disable my antivirus, had to do a bunch of stuff so this game will stop crashing, so it's a pretty common issue. So hopefully I don't have that anymore. It's very frustrating when I spent the last couple days troubleshooting this game and having to reinstall it, just do everything. Well, looks like this might be his cabin up here. Okay, then. Oh, he's got a beautiful little uh, piece of land here. What the hell is that? Due to my recent activity, it locked this. Well, let's leave and come back then. Good God. I'm not gonna get attacked by wolves. That's my girl. Ooh. We got a legendary animal around here. Got here. Sorry, bud, I'm hunting. They called you a woman killer, not a turncoat. Your own brother? I'm a good man. <laughs> you're wasting your breath. Sounds like your brother should have smarted you up when he had a chance. Follow me, Bighorn. Probably some poop or something. Yep, some poop. Doing good. Where's the damn track at? I found the dung over here, and I didn't see anything else. There it is over there. Yep.
Ooh, there it is right there. Man, that's a big guy. Good lord. Big SLB. It's pretty much all legendary, I guess, or white. Good lord. Legendary Moose. Bighorn, where are you? We're definitely going to have to make camp. stopped. Alright, big horn. Alright, let's go meet with the widow. Alright, we finally made it to the widow's cabin. Do I hear gunshots? She must be practicing. Not a single one. Oh, hey there. How you feeling, ma'am? Much better than I felt in a long time. I, if we hadn't caught that rabbit, I don't think I'd have made it another day. Well, you look better. Better and determined, thanks to you. And if I'm gonna learn to hunt, I figured it was time I learned how to use Cal's gun properly. How's that working out for you? Well, let's just say my prey is looking decidedly unscathed. <laughs> but the end of labor is to gain leisure. Is that not what Aristotle said? Well, I, I don't know much about Aristotle, but um, well, I know a thing or two about shooting a gun. Look, you gotta hold steady and firm. Hmm? You just focus, breathe slowly, and always pull the trigger on empty lungs. Here, I'll show you. Okay, calm and steady. Don't snatch at the trigger. You make it look so easy. All right, you try now. Remember to breathe. Wait to breathe out. Wait to breathe out. Nope. <laughs> Would you look at that? I haven't hit one that close all day. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. Focus on the inhale. Shoot on the exhale. My turn. I'll shoot a few more this time. Oh no, that wretched rat fell. Over there, you see? It's been a thorn on my side ever since we moved here. <laughs> Show off. All right, let me try again. Come on, come on. <sighs> 
She got one. Yes! I hit it. I hit it, didn't I? <laughs> what can I say? Thank you. But I still have some of the rabbit left that I salted up. Would you join me for a meal? It's the least I can do. Of course I will. Take a seat at the table. Food is just about done. Oh. <laughs> well, it's, it's good and hot. I hope you enjoy it. You helped me to catch it, after all. <clears throat> bon appetit. Huh? Please enjoy. And thank you again for everything. I really am grateful. Uh, it was nothing. You're a good man. Well, you don't really know me. I know enough. There's always more to find in ourselves. You helped me to see that. My husband, Cal, was such an optimist. I found that to be very contagious. But there's a fine line between optimism and naivete. And we were both born with a silver spoon. Banquets, butlers, valets. <laughs> Sounds terrible. It was just so many people, so many things. I uh -oh. was lost in it. I was crushed by it. My father was very overbearing. Then we came out here and I got crushed by this. You know, I pictured myself uh -oh. picking I'm fresh vegetables, not looking good. wine, writing a great novel. But I turned out to be a far more pathetic anti-heroine than any I could ever pen. Oh, well. <clears throat> I reckon you're gonna be just fine. <coughs> Are you all right? Can I get you some water? No, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I just, um... <coughs> Thank you for this. I think it's it's best if I if I make. <coughs> Stay right there. It's it's gonna be okay. Uh oh. My dear Arthur, I have gone out hunting. Not a phrase I thought any pen of mine would ever ink, but nonetheless one I am very proud to finally be able to write. I am so very grateful to you for all the help and encouragement you've given me. There is some money in a box on the nightstand. Please take it. I have far more than I need back in the city, and I'd like you to have it. Please take care, and remain true to the man I know you are. Well, that's very sweet of her. I really don't need the money, though. What if she's offering 100 bucks? Got me a break in entering from there. Why did it give me this ugly hat? And it's raining again? Big horn, where you at, girl? All right, we need to get rid of this moose pelt. Look out! You're back. All right, yeah. take a look. <laughs> look at his desk is gone. Got a little kick show in mind, huh? Oh, I forgot I got all of these. Okay, that should work. 
I trust nobody's missing this. So let's see here. The that's the beaver, the coyote, the fox. Permanently increases the time that Eagle Eye can stay active for five seconds. Sweet. And the moose permanently increases player's health experience bonus by ten percent. I definitely need that since I'm uh, pretty sick. Likewise, Stay safe famous. and quiet now. Actually, well, we could sell. Life takes its toll on all of us, don't it? But guess we're still here. That's good, and let's buy. Dynamite, hatchet, cleaver, buy some baked beans. Gun oil. Thank you, sir. All right. Not a word to Wagner. No no one else. All right, we need to go to a trapper. Good to see you again. So, buy and sell him. Right, let's see. I hope you make something pretty with that. All right. We are good there. It's been a while since I cleaned. And let's remove the index. And let's go meet the veteran. Don't shoot the wolves this time. Thank you kindly. Matching sets of clothes made right here. Not a big fan of the uh, legendary outfits. Yeah. Back at the veteran. There's his horse that took his leg <laughs> that last time. Do I just walk in or do I knock? There we go. Amish. Hey, Arthur. Well, come in. You said we might go out fishing. Don't take much persuading to get me to go fishing. Let's go in my boat. Good. Here she is. You mind rowing? Sure. What are we fishing for? Yeah. Only one thing worth catching in this lake. The great tyrant. Oh. <laughs> mean as hell, Northern Pike. Uh. Eats everything else that spawns around here, its own kind included. Well... Is that our bait then? A jack or something? Hell no. He's a clever old bastard. <laughs> I made these. This one's mine. You're gonna have to spare. They Ooh. are pretty. You don't know the half of it. <laughs> Come on, let's push off. I'll show you where we're rowing to. <sighs> Take us over there to the right. We'll set up ten yards or so offshore. He don't keep far away from me, the tyrant. He wants me to know whose lake it is. We'll show him who's boss. <laughs> the optimism of youth. Right here. We'll cast off towards the island. Okay. You got that lure I gave you? Get her out. Spent years working on that. Finding the right combination of feathers, twine, and glimmer. Making them, losing them, getting them right. I tried coins, shell cases, even a medal. Finally found something he seems to like. And now I hear you can buy him in a shop. Well, it wouldn't be quite so satisfying. Getting him with something shop bought. Easy for you to say. <laughs> but maybe I'm inclined to agree. 
Get it more towards the island, like he said. He's not reeling in. Oh, what's this? Well, you got something? Ah, I got something, all right. <laughs> uh, hey, him. Hey, you need Come on a... now, Tyron, I got you. I got you. Come on. Ah, oh. I went all slack. Oh shit! Oh my god! Stay there! I'm throwing out to you! Real quick! That bastard just bumped me! Over here! Dang, that thing frickin' pulled in like it was a shark! Anything? It's <laughs> just my rod. <clears throat> We'd gotten my toes too. They weren't wooden. <sighs> you want another go at him? I still got my lure. Nah. He's your fish now. Cast away. We'll come at him from the other way. Row over there. When he bumped me, I had to check twice. Thought I'd find a chunk of me missing. Man eating pie? That would be a first. I'm not so sure. Okay, right here. Our hopes of catching this bastard lie with you. Cast back to where we were, and make sure to use that lure I gave you. This will be my first legendary fish if I catch it. Just a bit faster now. Oh god, I think I hooked him. Real. Let's land the bastard. Oh man, don't snap it. Time to reel. I'm reeling. Long, Got away from him to stop struggling. There we go. Get a little bit closer. There you go. Yeah, 
He's not splashing as much, so I think he is getting tired. Try pulling that rod up as you reel. Getting closer. Yep, he's right there. He's getting tired. Come on. Got him. Got him. Finally. Here we go. Beat him. <laughs> uh oh, we're both sinking. That's no, a glitch. Both worn out, good lord. Let's roll back. Here, here. Oh, the holder. Pass me the tyrant. That is if you're sure you don't want him. Oh, I ain't gonna poach from your pond. Well, I'll give him his honors then. He sure was something, huh? Whew. <clears throat> Thanks for taking me it's out. A pretty looking I fish. Appreciate the company. That's one hell of a fish. Ain't he something? <laughs> so long. Hey, you ever want to go out hunting? You stop by again. I may. Hmm, might take us legendary hunting as well. So beautiful out here. Anyways, I was saying, this is just gorgeous out here. All right, guys, we, uh, I think I'll be pretty close to an hour when I am done editing. I'm happy to say that uh, my game did not crash after I changed all my settings that I found online uh, that told me to do so. So should be good from now on. Should be able to get uh, some daily uploads done. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next one.